Now, even though this may be a new event for the Alumni Association, even within the past few years, their attendance numbers have increased dramatically. And it's because of unique stores like these that Fayetteville is staying funky and green. Now, even though we've been calling the Razorback our mascot for almost 100 years, most fans haven't had the chance to meet him. Now, the athletic department has a plan to change this. Now, even though the program may have only lasted three hours, some experiences that students had here will last a lifetime. Thanks, guys. I'm here on campus where cleanup continues even a week after a tragic storm hit the area. Now, as you can see behind me, cleanup crews have been working sun up to sun down trying to clear the debris from campus, even here on Old Main Lawn. The city of Fayetteville is asking residents to do one of a few things with their debris. Um, you could either drop it off, um, leave it at your curb, on your curbside, where it's out of the way of traffic, um, car or foot traffic, or you can take it to one of three debris drop-off sites here in town. Um, one of those would be the Nolan Wastewater Treatment Plant. The second is the Westside Water Treatment Plant. And your third option is the Water and Sewer Operations Center here in town. The drop-off times are between 8 and 5 o'clock all day, or not all day, but all week. Um, and they ask that you not drop off anything outside of those times. If you have any other questions, you've been asked to contact the city of Fayetteville. Reporting for UATV, I'm Ashley Davidson. Back to the desk. Thanks, guys. Now this week marks the biggest social event of the spring semester here at the University of Arkansas. It's row week. As you can see behind me, fraternities have been preparing all week building fences for this weekend's events. They'll be paying big money for big names to come perform at their houses. Some of these big names include Schwayze, DJ Unk, and Barrett Baber, just to name a few. Now for entrance into these uh, concerts, Greek Life has told me that guys must have a wristband on, that they have, you can receive those wristbands from the respective fraternity. Girls do not have to have a wristband, but everyone must show their driver's license um, to prove that they are of age. If you are 18, you must also show a uh, university issued student ID to prove that you are in fact in college. If you have any other questions regarding Row Week, um, you can contact the Greek Life Office at 575-5001. Reporting for UATV, I'm Ashley Davidson. Back to you guys at the desk. For most college students, their college degree program simply includes going to their designated classes and completing their assignments on time. But for University of Arkansas senior and Fayetteville native Kirsten Blowers, interior design is a way of life. And this way of life has allowed her to pursue her dream. I wanted to open a store that would cater to a younger crowd and where someone, a college student, for example, could come and feel comfortable looking around and have affordable prices and so that they can make their home something funky and different. The funky and different aspect of Riff Raff could be seen in every piece that adorns the walls, covers the tables, or lays on the floor at the open house on Thursday. But all of this work can't be done alone. Kirsten has a few people who are helping her propel her dream. I do a lot of items in the store. I do, um, what I like to pride Riff Raff on is I incorporate a lot of contributors from Fayetteville. A lot of college students do a lot of paintings for the store. And it's because of unique stores like these that Fayetteville is staying funky and green. The store also caters to those who enjoy shopping for eco-friendly items, including a kid's clothing line that is made entirely of bamboo. Riff Raff adds even more variety to the already eclectic Fayetteville shopping experience. And while her business begins to bloom, the very talented Kirsten continues to work her way toward her interior design degree. Reporting for UATV, I'm Ashley Davidson. Most Razorback fans know that Hugo Bezdek said our team fought like a band of wild Razorback hogs against LSU in 1909. But little did he know how important the wild animal would become to the university and the state of Arkansas. Now even though we've been calling the Razorback our mascot for almost 100 years, most fans haven't had the chance to meet him. Now the athletic department has a plan to change this. 
Uh, the TEST Fund is a fund that was created by the University of Arkansas Athletic Department to uh, accomplish several purposes. Uh, number one, we want to help the fans feel more of an ownership with TUSK. And, you know, even if they give a dollar, that helps them know that they're, they're feeding TUSK or they're or helping do something for him. Number two, um, we have one of the few legacy programs uh, in the country for mascots. And so we want to breed TUSK 3. Um, it's a very expensive process, and so um, the test fund will help in continuing our legacy program. Tony Bond works for the athletic department at the university and oversees the Tusk Fund. Tusk is one of only two legacy mascots in the SEC, so it is important to keep the tradition going. So far, there have been four events to support this fund. We actually introduced it prior to the Ole Miss football game last year um, and raised over $7,000 that day. Um, we did that at, at another football game and two basketball games this year, um, and he's scheduled to come to a baseball game. Before the spring red-white football game, the Tusk Fund received another $5,000 in donations from loyal fans who had never met the six-year-old Russian boar. So what does the athletic department have in mind for the future? We, uh, we want to breed Test 3 and start working on getting him to run out on the field. We figure if they can do it at Colorado with a buffalo, we can do it with a pig. <laughs> Reporting for UATV, I'm Ashley Davidson.